Welcome to Denmark Place Baptist Church. Could I ask you out of respect for uh, Mr. Oke and for Mr. Oke's family to switch your phones to silence or to turn them off, please? Thank you. Listen now to the promises of Scripture. Draw strength and comfort from them that you might face this hour trusting in the love and the faithfulness of God. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His compassion never fails. Every morning they are renewed. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Please be seated. We are here to honour Merriman Adidosu Oki, who has died. We are here because in one way or another, his death affects us all. We are here to listen again to some of the words of the, of the Christian faith, to consider, to remember, and in quiet gratitude to give thanks for his life and our own continuing lives. We are here to offer our praises to God. We're here to renew our trust in God who has said, I will not fail you nor desert you. Let us pray. God, whose nature is love, we praise you that we're made in your image and your likeness. And we thank you for the life of your son, Mary Manoke, and for the love and the mercy that he received from you and showed amongst us. We rejoice in your gracious promise to all your children, those now living whose hope is in you, those who live down the centuries and have found their eternal resting place in you. And we rejoice in your promise to your children who have yet to be born. We rejoice in the love and the faithfulness that Mr. Oki showed to you, Lord. And we thank you for the words of blessing he shared with us over the years. We give you thanks and praise for the role he took within his family and for the pride he took in practising his skills at work and at his various creative tasks at evening courses. We join together in thankfulness that our lives have been touched by the life and the words of Mariman Adedosuoke. Loving God who brought us to birth, help us to live as those who are prepared for death. Enable us to hear your message of death overcome and life renewed. 
that as we face the mystery of death, we may see the light of eternity through Christ our risen Saviour. Amen. Let us stand and sing together, Great is thy faithfulness. Please be seated. Uh, The first reading is from John chapter 6, verses 35 to 40. Is somebody reading it? Do you want me to read it? So if you go to that, the readings are already there if you want. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and him who comes to me I will not cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up at the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Amen. Thank you. 
And can I ask Ayo to come and read the eulogy to us, please? Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, we gather here today to celebrate the life and honour the memory of a remarkable man. Mr. Merriman Adedosu Oke. As we reflect on his life, we celebrate the legacy he leaves behind and the profound impact he has had on those fortunate enough to have known him. Mr. Oke's journey began on the 14th of April, 1938, in Lagos, Nigeria, where he was born to Mr. Va Mr. Valentine Abiodu and Mrs. Mabel Idowu Oke. From an early age, Mr. Oke displayed a thirst for knowledge and a determination to succeed. He received his ed education at Ade Oshodi Primary School on Lagos Island and continued his studies at Lagos City College, Sabo Yaba, on Lagos Main Island. It was during these formative years he was baptized at the Baptist Church in Lagos on the 14th of October, 1951, laying the foundation for his spiritual journey. In 1962, Mr. Oke embarked on a new chapter of his life, traveling to the United Kingdom to join his father who served in the Royal Air Force. Determined to carve his own path, he pursued a career in electrical installations, attending Wilsdon College of Technology and Hackney Technical College from 1967 to 1970. It was during this time he obtained his esteemed City and Guilds of London qualifications in electrical installations, a testament to his dedication and expertise in his chosen field. Mr. Oke's commitment to his craft and desire to contribute to the embetterment of his community led him to, em to the employment within the Ministry of Works. His work not only showcased his technical skills, but also his unwavering commitment to serving others. During his time in the UK, Mr. Oke gained his British citizenship on the 10th of November, 1970, 1967, solidifying his connection to his adopted homeland. With his newfound qualifications, he embraced a career with the Ministry of Works, where he applied his skills and expertise to make a meaningful contribution. In early 1972, Mr. Oke made a decision to return to Nigeria where he continued his professional journey. He worked with John Holt Limited, carrying with him the knowledge and experience gained during his time abroad. He later went on to work at a pharmacy in Ikeja, Lagos, before returning to the UK. In the year 2000, Mr. Oke found himself back in the United Kingdom where he once again embarked on a new professional journey. He joined the Blue Harrow Agency, bringing his wealth and experience and expertise to the role. In his quest for lifelong learning, he attended Lambeth College in 2001 and 2002, followed by Hackney College in 2002, 2016, and 2018 to 19. It was here that he expanded his horizons exploring various courses such as tailoring, creative jewellery, photography and computer technology. Mr. Oke's thirst for knowledge and his determination to adapt to the changing times were truly commendable. Beyond his professional endeavours, Mr. Oke's true joy in life came from his family. Mr. Oke's love for his family was immeasurable and he leaves behind a legacy of love and devotion. He is survived by his children, his beloved children and grandchildren. He will be remembered not only for his accomplishments, but also for the love and the care he showered upon his family. Mr. Oke found solace and community 
in the Baptist Church in Camberwell since 2000. His loyalty and commitment were unwavering, refusing to switch to the branch near his house in Hackney. Not even illness could keep him away from the church, as he would make the arduous journey on Sundays determined to be present. On the 1st of May, 2023, after battling with illness, Mr. Merriman Adedosu, okay, departed from this earthly realm, leaving behind cherished memories and an indelible mark on the lives he touched. Through his physical presence, though his physical presence may no longer be with us, his spirit and the lessons he taught us will endure. As we mourn the loss of Mr. Merriman Adedosu Oke, let us also celebrate the rich tapestry of his life. May his spirit of perseverance, dedication, and love continue to inspire us all. Though he has departed from this world, his memory will live forever. It will remain etched in our hearts. And may his soul find eternal peace. And may his family find solace in the cherished memories they hold dear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who can follow that testimony of such a life? It's a fantastic life, lived out to the full. We're very fond of uh, Mary Manoke. He was uh, someone who was very quiet, and yet there was always a smile there. He, he was very friendly to everybody. He greeted people when he came to church. And at first, we did, we, he didn't shout out about having to travel so long to the, uh, to the church. Um, so when he moved um, but um, in latter years we realised that that was the case such commitment he showed we're going to, to sing of the amazing grace of his saviour Jesus Christ who enabled him by his spirit to do such that so stand and sing amazing grace how sweet the sound
Now I have the second reading from John chapter 14. If you'd like to... Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also." And you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Longfellow tells us in his poem, A Psalm of Life. Tell me not in mournful numbers, life is but an empty dream. For the soul is dead that slumbers, and things are not as they seem. Merriman Oki's soul certainly did not slumber. For him, life was never an empty dream. It was a chance to live out one's dreams for real. For him, it was about making the most of every opportunity one was given. Merriman showed in his actions and in his life that he loved life. He saw a purpose for himself within it. He lived as if he wanted to tame the subjects he sought to study. He made a variety of samples of pottery. He designed and fashioned his items of jewellery. He constructed his electrical models and explored the world through the camera lens, taking photographs of all that interested him. Yet he did not boast. He did not have to. His life, his faith and his actions spoke stronger of his zest for real living. He loved his family and was dedicated to them. He loved his church here at Denmark Place and was committed to being a child of God here at this place. I heard earlier that he came here in around the year 2000, before my time. However, I consulted the records and he became a member of this church in 2001, soon after visiting us as a member of the congregation. He found Jesus' presence here in this place and he worshipped the Lord with us. We did not hear of his many interests, yet we knew him to be one of Jesus' followers. That was perfectly clear. The sparkle in his eyes and the smile that spread across his face put us at ease and told us he was a friend we must have known all our life. For us, he was a quiet, thoughtful, interested man who loved his Lord. He watched what went on with gentleness and respect. He was a people watcher who belonged among us. If he wasn't here, we were missing a part of our number. I'm told that after lockdown had finished, he couldn't wait for the church to open up once more. We will miss him. But we feel in our hearts, we know in our hearts, that he has gone to a better place where there is less suffering. He's gone to be with his Lord. As Jesus told his disciples in John chapter 14, my father's house has many rooms and he's gone to prepare a place for Mr. Oki. Not only will he have a final resting place with his Lord, his Lord also promises to accompany him in person to that place of rest. What good news. We can safely allow Mr. Oki to be looked after by Jesus. We're comforted by knowing that he will not be left alone, but go with his Lord. We're gladdened by this fact because it makes our sense of loss a little more bearable. Merriman 
added also, okay, has not totally gone from us. He's just moved on to the place where we may follow too, accompanied by Jesus. Our friend has taken up residence in a place where we too are invited to follow when it is our time to depart this life, this earthly life. And Merriman Oke has left us with his example in life and with all those precious memories of his time spent with us. May we give thanks to God for his life and what we have discovered about life through his time here with us. We are sometimes given to ask ourselves whether we are good enough for God or whether we have done justice to our declared faith in Jesus. We do not need to worry if we love our Lord. For John chapter 6 assures us, All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. May we know the peace of God which passes all human understanding as we recognise that Mr Oki now rests in peace with his Lord. Amen. I'm going to ask Michael if he will come and uh, read some tributes to us. I've got some on the electronic version which I sent to people. And it was very touching when I read it. And I would like to read it also to everyone. And this is one of, from one of his friends. He said, Mr. Oke is fondly called Dosu by friends and colleagues. We became friends after we met by chance at Port Obelo Road where we went shopping many years ago, in the 70s. To keep a friend from 70s till now, it's a lot. Due to his height, we nicknamed him Iso Omagumate, meaning long nail that never bends. When I became ill and wheelchair bound, he was always visiting me in my sheltered accommodation in Finsbury Park. Every Thursday, that's every Thursday, he would bring me food items and vegetables and fruits from food banks, despite his poor health. He once brought me a 10 kilo bag of rice. That's what touched me when I was reading. And he said he fell on the escalator, carrying, imagine, 80-something-year-old man, carrying a bag of rice on his shoulder, and fell on the escalator. I was touched for this kindness and generosity. He will help trim my hair, and he will sit on his stool for me to trim his hair, too, from my wheelchair. I will miss him greatly. No other person beside my children visit me regularly as he did and now we step on that shoe sir amen. amen may god almighty accept his soul rest in peace my friend amen so i would like to read mine but i'm just choosing a few so please bear with me daddy was more, more than just a father figure he taught us the beauty of a simple life his unwavering love for justice and fighting for what was right inspired me greatly. That this consistency in his plans and routines showcased his determination and disciplined nature. He despised idleness and believed in the power of continuous learning, always seeking to acquire new skills. Even amidst the challenges of the COVID outbreak, Daddy remained dedicated to his education, attending colleges until circumstances forced a pause. His compassion extended beyond his own needs as he tirelessly cared for his friends, visiting them and providing them with nourishment. 
Daddy, as I affectionately called him, found solace and community in the Baptist Church in Camberwell, London, since 2000. He loyally and commit, commit, commitment, his loyalty and commitment were unwavering, refusing to switch the, to the branch near his house in Auckland. Not even illness could keep him away from the church. As he will make the adult's journey on Sundays, determined to be present, Daddy, your spirit and legacy will live on, inspiring us to fight for justice, embrace routine, and continuously seeking knowledge. Rest in perfect peace, dear Daddy. Amen. So Jesus said, When I was sick, you visited me. When I was hungry, you fed me. So again, who does the will of the Father? See, sometimes it's, it's difficult for us to make judgment on what we are seeing. Because God knows exactly who one is. He sees inside other than the outside. So there are a lot of things that you look in man and say, this man what is doing this, but... You know, he lived a quiet life. He touched a lot of people's lives. And I think it's worth us to also to emulate this. And God, in his infinite mercy, grant him that rest in Jesus' name. for your words of wisdom, they are true wisdom. Thank you. Let us pray for the family. Loving God, we thank you once more for the life and the witness of Mary Monoke. We praise you for all the precious memories that he leaves behind. We have been touched by the quiet and creative example he's left imprinted on our lives and by the encouragement of his perseverance amidst the sufferings of life. We pray that we may never forget the things that he taught us, the way he cared about his faith and about his church, and the way he loved those who were very close to him. We're thankful, Lord, that we could be part of his life and know that he valued the things we care about too. And we're encouraged by his determination, his integrity, and his love for his friends. May your love surround all those who miss his departure from this life. Help them to be aware of your everlasting arms, comforting those who mourn. And in particular, we commend to your care Mr. Oki's children and grandchildren, and all the extended family members, as well as his friends, all who mourn his passing. We ask your blessing to surround them and your peace to enter their hearts. Sustain them in the days to come with treasured memories of the past, radiant hopes for the future, and bring us all at last to fullness of life with all your saints in the kingdom of heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now help us to let go, to trust your forgiveness, your grace, your mercy and your love. We know that you are with us in our grief. Ease our loneliness, fill us with your peace and help us to go on from today trusting you more fully. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, the life of the world. Amen. Let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand and sing, Nearer my God to thee.
far more worth than human reasoning. Keep guard over our hearts and thoughts. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing, When peace like a river restoreth my soul, it is well with my soul.
be seated. There will be a, re a retiring offering. And Mr. Moromonoke, his burial will be take place at the City of London Cemetery at 2.30pm. So I've been asked by the family to remind you, please take with you your orders of service as we will be singing some of these hymns at the cemetery. Thank you very much in sharing in praise to God for the life of Mr. Mary Monoke. Amen.
everyone here now. Yeah. Do you can play from Can we start off by singing Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine? It's on page 17 of your programme. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, wash in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Saviour all the day long. This is my story. to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his mercy gave us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. The inheritance to which we are born is one that nothing can destroy or spoil or wither. Father God, we thank you for the life of Mr. Mary Monoke, now gone from among us all. We thank you for all your goodness to him, for all that he was to those who loved him, and for everything in his life that reflects your goodness and love. And now, Lord, we bless you that all suffering and bitterness are past and forgotten. Help us to be content to release him to you. You are our Father, and we bring him to you, into your care. In faith and hope, we place him in your loving hands, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord says, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, and I am the living one. For I was dead, and now I am alive forevermore. We brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Seeing that the earthly life of our brother has come to an end, we commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes. 
dust to dust. Confidence of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. God be in my head and in my understanding. God be in mine eyes and in my looking. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart and in my thinking. God be at mine end and at my departing. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Eternal God and Father, you create us by your power and redeem us by your love. Guide and strengthen us now by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves in love and service to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Would someone like to get us some prayer from me? Let us sing, When peace like a river attendeth my, my way. Page 16.
now fill in the grave and then uh, we'll say a prayer before we leave. Alright then, press begin, yeah? Yeah. Okay. yeah, thank
Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall lack nothing. He makes me down to lie in green pastures. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let us pray. Eternal God, we come to you because the friend we knew and loved has died, and our hearts are cold and our minds perplexed. Whatever we may be thinking and feeling, we know that you will understand. For you made us, and in your Son Jesus you shared our life and experience. Accept us as we are. Forgive us for our lack of faith, inspiring us a living hope. We pray for the family, for all those who love Mary and Mama Oke with, and will continue to love them. <coughs> We pray for his children and his grandchildren. <coughs> we ask that you will fill the emptiness that has been left with pleasant memories and cherished hopes. We ask you to bring comfort in their loss, companionship in their loneliness, and renewed faith in your power in their lives. Through the same Lord Jesus. Amen. Would you like to decorate the grave with the flowers? Let us pray. Bless us, Lord. Send us on from here with your spirit in our hearts. Keep our minds on our friend, Mr. Oke. Help us to renew our lives and renew our faith in you. Keep care of him, Lord. Allow him to rest truly in your everlasting arms. Let him rest in peace. Amen.
support and may God bless you all in Jesus name we know that surely on that resurrection morning we will all be there in Jesus name thank you very much